was reportedly yesterday Ethiopian fighters attacked the locality on Sudan side of Ethiopia Sudan border the locality is situated between Atrab and Al Kalabat fields it is to the west of river Atbara and here reportedly Sunni farmers were attacked by Ethiopian fighters one farmer was killed his name is Jibrail Al Salik he was killed Reportedly, four Sudanese farmers were abducted by Ethiopian fighters. Sudanese sources are saying that the attack was carried out by Ethiopian Amhara militia members. Uh, because uh, Ethiopian forces have not launched any large-scale offensive against Sudanese forces on Ethiopia-Sudan border. But Ethiopian uh, militia members are continuing their attacks. Earlier we saw uh, two days ago that six Sudanese farmers were killed in an attack by Ethiopian militia members. This is the second attack because Ethiopia has adopted this policy of launching its uh, militia members for carrying out attacks in Sudanese territories. I think Ethiopian forces are providing cover to these uh, Amhara militia members who penetrate Sudanese areas and attack Sudanese farmers. Ethiopia does not want to launch a full-scale offensive against Sudanese forces. Sudanese forces have also built up their military presence in bordering areas. But can they protect their farmers or not? Because Ethiopian militia members, uh, they are known for having influence and control in bordering areas though they have been pushed back by Sudanese forces but still they have their presence on Ethiopia side of the border they continuously uh, make incursions into Sudanese territories and hit Sudanese farmers thank you for watching